And we discussed earlier the concept of critical periods and how important it is to begin to teach your dog to play during critical periods. And one of the reasons for this is, is that dogs during the first four to six months of their life are learning where to put their energy. And so if I want my dog to play, if I can jumpstart and encourage them to use their mouth, tugging behavior, chasing behavior, those types of behaviors during this period, then they're much more likely to do that as adults. If I discourage mouthing, chasing, tugging type behaviors during this period, it may drop out of their behavioral repertoire. And what I've found is a small amount of encouraging prey-based play behavior during critical periods makes it much easier to play with that dog later on. And if you neglect this period, it's much more difficult. There are many examples of dogs that should have played, but were either discouraged by their handlers for mouthing and play type behavior. Remember, a puppy mouthing and chasing behavior is play behavior to them. And if you discourage that, you're correcting your puppy for mouthing you or picking up objects or things like that and not doing compensatory play appropriately during this period, that may draw, you may inhibit that dog's desire to play. Also, if you just simply neglect those impulses, so people that have dogs that don't do any play with them during the first six months of their life are much more likely to have difficulties getting that dog to play later on, even breeds and individuals that would have played had it been jump-started in this period. Another side note is that one of the things that happens during our critical developmental period, the first six months of our dog's life, is their dogs start to change their teeth. So puppies tend to go through the teething process of dropping their baby teeth while their adult teeth come in from four to approximately six months, give or take a week either way, right? And this period, this two-month period, at the latter stages of our critical developmental period, um, can have an effect on our ability to play with the dog. Pretty typically, during teething, we want to stop all tugging type behavior. And so in the video, you'll see me playing with a young black lab puppy who's in the act of teething at that point in time. And I limit the amount of tugging behavior I do. I may do uh, retrieving games a little bit with dogs during teething, but I do very little light tugging. I may do some frustration-based restrained stuff where I tease them a little bit to get them frustrated and then just let them grab an object and let them have it. But primarily, we stop playing with a lot of vigor uh, especially tugging behavior during the teething period, and we tend to use that for other socialization and food work. Although, if your dog's mouth is not very sensitive, and certain dogs are extremely sensitive during teething, and other dogs aren't sensitive at all. They can be tugging and dropping teeth, and it doesn't seem to bother them at all. It's generally speaking not worth it for us to risk ha the dog having a bad experience by playing to tug of war during the period where they're changing their teeth. Their mouth is sore, and so shelve that as much as you possibly can. It's a great thing if you've gotten it started before they start teething. If I've done a little bit of uh, early puppy play work and chasing and tugging behavior before they start teething, great. Uh, if I haven't, then practice retrieving games, chasing games without a lot of tugging while the dogs change their teeth.